All right, today I'm going to give you guys a comparison video between all three of these uh, Beast Kingdom Batman figures. Uh, these are all Michael Keaton's. Uh, the middle one is the first one, the 89 Batman, and then the one on the right is the 92, and then the one on the left is the Flash movie Michael Keaton. So let's take a look at all three of them and compare them, and uh, let's see uh, which one's the best. Alright, so here we have all three figures outside of packaging. Again, the one in the middle is the 89, the one on the right is the 92, and then the one on the left is the Flash movie. So here are all the accessories that uh, each of these come with. So, um, you could kind of tell that the 89 one comes with the most amount of accessories. Uh, the Flash one uh, comes in second, because he comes with a base and a second cape. And then lastly, we have the 92 which has the least amount of accessories. And uh, the good thing about it is because if you purchase uh, all three of them, then uh, you have uh, accessories you could interchange between all three because uh, they all fit pretty uh, nicely together. So yeah, you can definitely interchange all of them and uh, accessories, uh, weapons, hands, they could all interchange between each other. So let's take a look at the 89 for just a quick second. Okay, so here's the 89, and then uh, he comes with the uh, second uh, cow, and then he comes with the line gun, and then uh, there are three mouthpieces interchangeable, and then a bunch of hands, and then also a bunch of accessories. And then as far as the flash film Batman, here are the accessories. And again, this is the only one that comes with a second cape and also a base. And then lastly, we have the eight, uh, 92. And the good thing about this base is that you could use it for all three of these figures. Because they're all Batman. Alright, before I go into the figures themselves, I uh, just want to show uh, a few accessories uh, that are uh, worth mentioning. Here's the line gun from the uh, 89 film, and uh, this thing can move, so that is cool. But it is very fragile, so be careful with that. And then as far as the regular grapnel gun, here it is and it is uh, detachable so that is nice and all three of them are the same and then uh, here's the batarang uh, all three of them comes with a rope attached to it but uh, I figured I'll take this one off so I could have Batman hold on to it without having the rope attached to it so that's neat and then here's the uh, mm, communicator I'm not sure what this is don't remember it yeah and then uh, here's the remote control for the vehicle and then I think these are smoke bombs and then uh, each of them comes with uh, three ninja stars and the 89 version comes with an extra cow and uh, it has removable mouthpiece you could actually remove this but it is a little hard to do. Oh man. There we go. So you could remove this, and there's a little peg right there, and then this one has eyes looking towards that way, and then the other one is looking straight. So that's the difference between the two. I mean, uh, that's, that's the other accessories that this one comes with. Um, sorry, a slight correction. Uh, the 89 one is the one that comes with the base, not the uh, not the Flash version. So 89 is the one that comes with the most amount of accessories and with the base, and uh, these two does not. So here, look at all three of them uh, next to each other, so you can get an uh, idea how all three of them look. Now, granted that I put a little magnet onto the uh, 92 cape, so it looks much, much nicer. Uh, let me fold this down a little bit so it kind of drapes better on the uh, flash film 
And uh, the 89 one, I can't seem to get his uh, cow to come back on. Yeah. So maybe if I unfold the cape a little bit, it'll, it'll fit a little bit better. So let's see if that will help with the... Okay, that... Does that help? Yes. Oh no, no, not really. Yeah, I mean it pegs on, but uh, the bolt, the socket, is just too loose now. It's a little loose. So, yeah. But, uh, you get the idea. So let me put them back in here so you guys can get a good look at all three of them together. Height-wise, they're exactly the same, of course. They're all Michael Keaton. And uh, let's take a closer look at them. Alright, let's start with the 89. Uh, head sculpt does not look like Keaton at all. Uh, this bad emblem was painted poorly. The cape looks nice. It's very... Uh, uh, a bit paper feel to it, and uh, but the pattern looks uh, very much uh, like the 89 one. And then with this one, oh, let me see if I can brighten this up a little bit so you guys can see the body. And he is wearing panties. And here's the flash one. Since this one came out second, so I'll show you guys this one. Um, the cape is not as uh, cumbersome as the other two. And likeness is actually really good. And then here we have the 92. Alright, so let us take a look at the uh, 89 one a little close, uh, closely. Uh, so I'm going to remove this because it's not staying on. And I'm going to remove the cape as well just to, so I can show you guys the body. Um, this body is uh, poorly constructed and uh, this arm broke off straight out of the box. And then this arm is still intact but not sure for how long. And then uh, these, uh, so they decided to go with a bodysuit. Uh, so you kind of mm, here you can see there's a bodysuit underneath, and then they decided to glue uh, armor pieces on top, which it's exactly what they did in the film, but uh, it didn't translate well uh, in figure form. So you can see residuals of the glue coming apart. And then here you can see glue residue over here as well. And then uh, the the one the thing that really got to me uh, was the grandma panties that he has on. And uh, that is uh, yeah that is not pretty at all. So here you could kind of see the thigh armor. It's glued on top of a bodysuit. On paper, it's a great idea. But uh, when it comes down to uh, figure form, yeah, it does not work. And uh, the joints, they're okay. This one is on a ball hinge joint down here. These are double jointed knees. I believe this is a ball jointed hips. And then these are supposed to be double jointed elbows. And then uh, there is bicep swivel and there's a ball hinge joint on the shoulder, neck there's a joint, and then uh, head there's a ball joint, and then uh, abdominal there's a ball joint, I believe there's a ball joint in here too, yeah, rather right than the waist. So as far as articulation, this one is, uh, it's okay, uh, but having it with a bodysuit on, it does restrict uh, range of motion quite a bit and I'm not sure but the belt looks a little tight on him so I'm gonna put the cowl back on there we go now it's staying put oh now it's staying put good I guess it's the cape that's causing it but uh, that could be easily fixed I would imagine 
but uh, this is what he looks like in uh, likeness again not great and this was uh, the first attempt I guess of this uh, 89 Batman I wish they would redo this with the uh, with the with the new body now uh, with the wheel new style of doing bodies now so uh, for the flash film they decided to go do away with the bodysuit instead of just sculpting piece of plastic and then uh, making it into a fully articulated figure instead I think this is the way to go uh, cape and the uh, flash film it's a little smaller it's not as wide as the uh, the 89 or the 92 uh, there is a gap between the head and the cow I mean the cow and the cape so it does allow a little bit more movement for his head so he can turn which is nice up and down a little bit and now they also did away with where the uh, emblem is attached to the cow that's how it looks uh, that's how it is in the film but again it doesn't translate well with figure form so what they did was they cut the cow the emblem as a separate piece and then they decided to attach that to the chest and allows the cow to move around which is I think is the way to go and then as far as articulation is exactly the same as the other one the 89 one but uh, with this one being uh, uh, being a figure without a bodysuit uh, it does not restrict articulation at all but uh, elbow you can see it needs to come out a little bit so super weird like this and there's still more refinement to do uh, for this company uh, as far as figure is concerned but uh, it's getting there so chest there's a ball joint and same thing waist there's a ball joint and then belt neatly cover up the uh, crotch piece and then these legs can be lowered and it does have bicep swivel and double jointed knees and then ball hinge ankles like all of them and I like how they cut it uh, where this uh, front portion is uh, behind this front portion so it covers up the joint quite nicely when you're looking at a straight on and then uh, they vastly improved on the head sculpt for this one as you can see he definitely looks like uh, Michael Keaton the old Michael Keaton and wire has uh, the cape has wires running on each side so that's a good selling point for this figure the really really good head sculpt and the fact that they do it did away with the uh, bodysuit and then again here's the 92 which I reviewed uh, I think just uh, a few days ago uh, it has wire running through it and I went ahead and attached a magnet so it keeps the cape down which looks really nice on him uh, and as far as articulation he's exactly the same as the uh, flash one and the 89 one I love the uh, the design of the suit here so yeah this is my favorite look for Batman and uh, yeah I mean uh, the cow same thing uh, it has a little gap in between but not as much as the flash one so oh, sorry so turning his head is not as uh, it's not as great uh, the range of motion is not as good as uh, the uh, flash one the flash one has way more range of motion for that Let's see it barely turns and uh, yeah not a whole lot more uh, but let's do let's get them side by side and uh, so if you were deciding to buy a Batman a Keaton Batman off of uh, Beast Kingdom definitely skip the 89 one I think this one might still be available and uh, I think I don't think anyone would buy it unless they do it for customizing or just buy for the accessories but it's expensive because um, this one they loaded with accessories the 89 one they loaded with accessories so this one is the most expensive one which is the worst looking one too so uh, don't buy this one definitely don't buy the 89 so let's throw that out of the out of here and then if you uh, have someone that um, recently commented on my video and asked about which one to get whether to get the uh, flash version or the 92 version uh, that 
that all depends on uh, which movie you like the most and uh, if you like the 92 then go for the 92 if you like the flash film then go for the flash film because as far as the construction is concerned everything is exactly the same uh, there's nothing really new about uh, these two versions uh, the cape is different uh, because this one is a smaller cape well I mean not not shorter type of smaller but uh, as far as the width is concerned is smaller and this one does wrap around his whole body so this one is different and the material is different uh, this is more cloth and this one is more um, those uh, thick leather so longevity uh, I think this one eventually might crack on you the uh, the flash one will definitely not because it is fabric if you take care of it and then as far as head scopes I think they're both really good um, yeah I think they're both really good uh, the I think the flash one is just a little bit better as far as the likeness concerned to uh, Michael Keaton and then uh, bat symbol is exactly the same the suit it just depends on uh, which design you like more so yeah uh, I told the guy that uh, I would pick 92 because that's a film I like him more. I like more than the Flash film, but uh, it all depends on uh, your preference, I think. Yeah. So they're both good, and uh, yeah, either one. I think they're exactly the same price too. I think they're about uh, 70 bucks, somewhere around there, if you can still find them. Uh, but I, yeah. I already mentioned but uh, Entertainment Nerf cancelled on me on this one so I had to buy it off eBay so I paid a little more for it uh, which is uh, annoying but uh, I definitely need the 92 so yeah so I had to get it but uh, these two fantastic definitely worth getting if you're interested in a Beast Kingdom Batman but again uh, oh and uh, they are taller than your regular figures here's a high comparison between these two uh, Batman with NECA and Marvel Legends so you can see they're they are really tall and uh, let me bring in a McFarlane figure and these two Beast Kingdom ones are also taller than the McFarlane one so it's its own size its own scale and you won't be able to fit in with the rest of your uh, figures but they are nice and uh, I do like them and here's one last look at all three of them and, um, and I'm very happy they did the 92 because uh, there's not a, a whole lot of figures out there for the 92 Batman except for Hot Toys I think that's the only other 92 figure that I could think of at the moment but uh, yeah unless you go way back uh, but um, currently there are yeah there there aren't any i don't think there are any 92 batman even NECA didn't make the 92 uh they made the 89 a lot of people make the 89 but uh they tend to skip the 92 i don't know why because the 92 does have the best suit in my opinion i granted that the 89 is the first one but still i mean the 92 does look way better so there you have it uh here's there's the comparison of all three beast kingdom batman michael keaton batman and um yeah, hopefully this helps uh, on your uh, purchasing uh, decision, and uh, thanks for watching. Oh, and uh, one last thing I want to mention is that the Flash one um, is more fun to pose. Uh, when I was taking photos, uh, the I, I, I noticed I um, tend to give the Flash version of Batman a little more pose than the 92 one, so that's that.